This morning, I read a quote in Politico from the minority leader stating that a two-year property tax freeze doesn't go far enough. My question is, how far is enough for the governor and the minority leader? It, it, it's almost mind-boggling that we have a discussion about school funding in this chamber in the same breath talking about freezing property taxes. We need to ensure our schools don't lose money is what I hear in the school funding formula. Hold harmless is a, is a big key to this funding formula to make sure that our children have the resources they need to be educated. To, in, in this morning, the minority leader is on record, again, as saying a two-year freeze isn't enough. So how much money should my school district lose on the quest to perpetuate this false narrative regards to property taxes. First and foremost, a two-year property freeze will cost my school district $8 million, which is laughable considering the school district would only gain in our funding formula less than a million. $8 million would cost my school district for the property tax freeze that doesn't go far enough. Uh, earlier this morning, the representative from the 84th District got up and spoke in opposition to a property tax freeze and asked how long members on this side of the aisle would appreciate to put into place a property tax cap. Um, let me remind everyone that Illinois has the second highest property tax burden in the state. We're second only to New Jersey. Kane County, Kendall County, and DuPage County rank in the top 10 of highest property taxes in the state. In fact, Oswego has an effective property tax rate that is 45% higher than New Jersey, the highest property tax state in the nation, yet Oswego outdoes them on property taxes. Decades of unfunded uh, spending and unbalanced budgets in this state have put a higher and higher burden on property taxes throughout the state. What was, what was Omitted in the comments made earlier about the $36 million that the school district would miss was not that it was the school district's money, but it's the property owner's money. It's the property taxpayer's money. So to answer the question how long we would like a property tax cap, as long as we can possibly get. 